This right here is a battery operated cuckoo clock. This was my great grandmother's for a very long time. And then very recently, like last year, my grandmother told me that I could have it. So I um, took it up here and well, it's working fine. In case you're wondering of all those very badly drawn on numbers, that was me. This one right here is a Charlie Brown cuckoo clock. This one's also battery operated. Pretty similar to the other one I showed you. Um, this one will play Charlie Brown music every hour. And I got this for Christmas in 2020. This one right here is another electric cuckoo clock. This one, unfortunately, doesn't work anymore. Got this for Christmas a very long time ago. This is probably one of the most loved clocks in my collection. This is a Seiko Melodies in Motion 2017 Special Edition. Got this for Christmas a long time ago, back in 2017. I've only ever had to change the battery twice in the about five years that I've had this. No, it's four years and ten months now, or four years and nine months, but by the time you see this video, it'll be five years. Okay, this clock is a clock that I kind of made myself. I bought the case at Goodwill for about nine and a half dollars and I bought and I got the movement for Christmas and in January of this year I converted it and unlike the other clocks that I replaced the pendulums on or actually had, had to use spare pendulums, this one this one's pendulum is too small. So yeah, and it's the same kind of pendulum that I gave to the other ones, so I can't swap. So yeah, it's going to have to be like this until I can get a longer pendulum. And this one chimes, but I have the chimes unplugged because it's a little too loud. That right there is probably one of the clocks I've owned for the longest time. This one I got when I was two about. And it's, in case you remember the uh, other clock that I had butterflies uh, drawn on, that was actually kind of referencing this clock. This clock is in the shape of a teapot because for some reason I had an interest in teapots and butterflies and clocks. However, among those three interests, as you all should know by now, clocks is probably the one that still remains. But yeah. This clock I've had for a very long time. My grandpa made this for me. Alright, here's another Ikea clock. This one is a storage clock, so you store things in it. I have four alarm clocks stored in there, and you know what? I'm going to go through those as well. Oh yeah, by the way, I got this from my grandmother a while ago. This one right here is a West Clocks um, mechanical clock. I don't know where I got this, um, unfortunately, um, the spring for this clock to work is broken, and yeah, I don't know what to do, because I'm not good with repairing clocks yet, so, yeah. This right here is an Ikea alarm clock. This one I got, um, seven years ago for my birthday. This right here is a Minions alarm clock. I have no clue where I got this from. Unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. Here's this clock that um, is has a can shape to it. Saw one of these at an antique store and I kind of wanted one, but I was already going to buy something else, so I decided to ask for one for Christmas, and I got this. This right here is my gerbil rope clock. Now, um, got this for Christmas a while ago. Actually, last Christmas. And it works quite nicely. This right here is another clock from Ikea. Don't know who gave this one to me. It's one that lights up every five seconds, and as you can see, 
it's pretty small. Like, it's one of the smaller ones in my collection. Here's a clock that my cousin made back when she was in middle school, I think. I was really young when I got this. This right here is a pocket watch shaped clock. Uh, I think my grandmother gave this to me a long time ago. This right here is a lacrosse technology digital clock. I have no clue who gave this to me. But I think I got it for my birthday one year. This right here is a lacrosse technology digital clock with the day and date and temperature. This one projects on the ceiling, but um, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to have to move my camera. This one right here is a Philips digital clock. This has been in my room longer than I've even been alive, so I don't know when my parents bought it. This one plays music. Like, you could put, like, a music disc in here and it'll play. But, yeah. This right here is a digital clock that's shaped like a rocket. This one, too, projects on the ceiling. I don't know who gave this to me or where I got it. This one right here is a clock from the Netherlands when my grandmother went there for vacation um, a few years ago. This one... I don't really know what to call this type of one. It's just like a clock that was made there. So yeah. This right here is a word clock. I got this for Christmas and it is pretty cool. Instead of just numbers, it shows words. This right here is an Atomics digital clock. This one's an Atomic one. Unfortunately, it hasn't really been keeping good time because it is not, the seconds is not really synced up right to my analog atomic clock or my um, other atomic clock. So, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. This one right here is a Coca Cola advertisement clock. This one lights up. But the light is pretty bright, so I don't usually like to keep it on. I got this for Christmas um, for my grandmother, who um, I actually showed her a picture of this clock. Like, I saw it at an antique store, and then she went to buy it and then gave it to me for Christmas. So, yeah. This one right here is a general electric wall clock. This one I got at Savers, and, well, as you can see, it's not running right now, but it does work. And these clocks are not very common, so yeah. This one right here is a Howard Miller Quartz Chiming Mantle Clock. It got this off of eBay for $40. This right here is a marble design clock. This one's actually made of marble. My grandparents gave this to me. This one right here is a sunbeam alarm clock. This one's a plug-in. This one I got at Savers, and unfortunately it doesn't work. Here's this Seth Thomas glass mantle clock. Something that's been, um, it's a really fancy pattern of glass, and the back panel is broken, but I need, I want to glue that because I don't think I'm able to replace this kind of glass. This right here is a sharp alarm clock. My grandmother found this in a drawer and then gave it to me. This one, same story as the other one, except this one's a square alarm clock. And yeah, it's digital. This right here is a um, robot clock. My aunt gave this to me when she was visiting here. This one right here is a Shannon crystal clock. My grandparents got me this for my birthday. This right here is a skeleton clock. Unfortunately, it's broken because the hour hand is loose. 
and I don't know how to put it back on because I tried to put it back on but it hasn't been working. This right here is a clock from Holland. This one as well. Um, this takes a C or cell battery. This alarm clock right here um, will take a double A battery. Got this a few years ago, don't remember where. Yeah, doesn't work anymore.